This is KNEV.TV weather from the KNEV Storm Center, your trusted source for weather. An incredibly active evening going to be unfolding across the region with scattered thunderstorms. In fact, thunderstorms likely here over the next several hours. Severe weather is on the table as well. Then we'll see scattered storms continuing overnight. Nocturnal storms across the region. Still a good bet. Tornado watch in effect until 8 tonight. Severe storms are likely. Flash flooding is also possible. And we see more storms on the way as we go into tomorrow and also Thursday. You'll see this red shaded area under a tornado watch until 8 o'clock. That includes the western portions and south southwestern portions of the Panhandle, all of eastern Wyoming, northeastern Colorado. Severe thunderstorm watches to the south of that. Yesterday we hit 91 degrees after a morning low of 63. As far as uh, precip goes, nothing yesterday. We'll change that tonight, though. We're still an inch and eight hundredths above normal for the month and about four and two-thirds above normal for the year. Not as warm today as what we had yesterday out there, and precip going to be on the increase here over the next several days. Uh, tomorrow and uh, Friday, two more days of some good rain chances. Also Monday of next week, it looks like a decent shot of seeing some moisture. Outside of the thunderstorm, Saturday looks to be a bit windy. Otherwise, quiet weather conditions. Well, we're up to an enhanced risk of severe storms across the region tonight. This includes all, most of the entire area that's under that tornado watch underneath an enhanced risk of severe storms. Still a slight risk tomorrow and again on Friday here as we see uh, severe thunderstorms possible. Excessive rain, that's going to be in the form of flooding rains tonight and tomorrow across a large portion of the region. A slightly lesser chance on Friday, and then it starts to pull away from us as we go into the weekend. But it is going to be very active out there the next couple of days. Temperatures right now in the state, coolest right in the middle and in the northwest where thunderstorms and showers have already started to form. 70s and 80s, 91 in Omaha, but it's only a 73 in Kimball. Rain-cooled air there around Sydney from those severe thunderstorms earlier. Winds are out of the southeast at uh, east-southeast, gusting up to 25, 30. And there is some areas of gustier winds, especially in some of those storms. They'll move across the area here tonight, die out a little bit. We're not completely done with it, though. There's going to be scattered storms through the overnight hours into early tomorrow morning. And then uh, by tomorrow afternoon, we reset the table with another round of strong to severe thunderstorms across the region. They push out as we go into Friday, and then it's a rinse and repeat kind of situation where Friday afternoon and evening we bring back in more uh, showers and thunderstorms here across the region. Overnight lows tonight, 50s to uh, low 60s, highs tomorrow, 60s and mid-70s. Precip's going to be a lot and a lot more coming, 2 to 3 inches in some areas, even more in uh, some isolated areas, but a few areas may only pick up a few hundreds. Thunderstorms don't treat everyone equally when it comes to uh, total precip. As you can see, the different models are having troubles uh, uh, coming up on exact amounts, but uh, some areas here you can see almost approaching 6 inches, and uh, that would be way too much rain. Variable clouds with severe thunderstorms, especially this evening, damaging winds, large hail, a uh, possible uh, tornado with some storms, lows of 60. Tomorrow, scattered showers and storms again, some strong, 74 your high. It's going to be cooler tomorrow. Then as we go into Friday, it's going to warm back up a little bit. Isolated thunderstorm chances return for next week as temperatures rebound into the 80s.